Hello, it's Susan Woodcock at Workroom Tech in Tryon, North Carolina, and I want to share a time-saving drapery making method. So to do this, I have the drapery lining that is hemmed, and I've added four and a half inches to the finished length before hemming. So my cuts are made four and a half inches more than the finished length of the drapery. Okay? And I put in a doubled three inch hem at the bottom of the lining and then surged off the top of the lining. So this has a surged edge. And then I pressed on the do fix board and fix tape across the top. Now that can be set aside until I'm ready and I'm ready. So I have the drapery that's laid out on the table. I have the fusible um, buckram has been pressed on. It's a four inch buckram. So my finished length is four inches up from the zero line on the table. So that means I had to add four inches when I laid it out for the hem at the other end. Make sure you do that so you don't come up short. You can also use blue tape to put lines on your table um, so you know exactly where to lay it out. And that's also a big time saver. So for this drapery I'm going to pull away the paper coating on the tape and bring it up and that allows for a half inch above. So when I did my um, bottom hem, I surged this off and I can go ahead and press this down. Now yes, this has a surged edge showing at the top. I wouldn't use this method for every customer. Sometimes I like a double fold heading. Um, or tucking the lining underneath or turning the lining back so that it's doubled. But there are times when you want really, really minimal bulk. So this helps to do that. And then I'm ready to turn in the side hems here. So I hope this um, time-saving, quick fabrication method will be helpful for you. Um, one thing I like about this method is I can prepare all my linings with the serge top and the board and fix tape and then prepare the drapery, measure it, add the buckram all the way across and then just lay in and press this half inch down from the top and I know it's going to come out even at the bottom. So if you're doing multiple widths this would be a great solution especially if you wanted to minimize the bulk in the top heading. I hope this is helpful and um, good luck with your drapery projects. Bye.